ship. Bum, 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 jump the tree. Bum, 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 skip the rope. Bum, 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 look at me. All together now. All together now. All together now. Hi, everybody. It's me, Miss Lisa. I'm here to share with you another of my favorite stories. This one is called There Are No Bears in This Bakery by Julia Sarcone Roach. But before we start the story, let's take a few seconds to check out these delicious looking end papers. Looks yummy, doesn't it? All kinds of cookies and cakes and even a few donuts and cinnamon rolls. There are no bears in Little Bear Bakery. I'm the whiskers of this neighborhood, and if it flutters, scurries, or scampers here, I know about it. The name is Muffin, and this is my story. There are no bears in this bakery. Each night, the moon rises, the bread rises, and I rise. The air cools and the sounds get interesting. That's when the night shift begins. Scratch, scratch, squeak is the mouse behind the bakery. Clang, crash, crunch, crunch is the raccoons in the dumpster. Snip, snip, flip, flap, ah! is the bats visiting the barber shop. I thought I knew all the night sounds until last night. Last night after the sun rolled off the edge of the sky, a mysterious new sound rumbled over the windowsill. Grrr. I stepped out to investigate. The air was cool and wet like a dog's nose. The alley was empty. No mouse, no raccoon, not even a bat. The bakery's back window was open like a crooked smile. I slipped into the darkness like icing melting down a hot cake. Inside, I listened for clues. Maybe it was a mouse. Mice love sprinkles. Grrr. And that's when I saw it. It was the biggest mouse I had ever seen. Grrr. Actually, it was the smallest bear I'd ever seen. I was surprised. The bear was surprised. My tail was the most surprised. Grrr, rumbled the bear's belly. Up close, the bear smelled like old socks, cinnamon, and adventure. The problem was clear, and I was on the case. The rumbling grew softer and softer until burp. For a moment, everything was quiet, too quiet. I heard snuffling sounds behind me. I had a tail. I mean, my tail had a tail. I mean, there was something in the darkness. The darkness had eyes and they were looking at me. My whiskers trembled. My paws shook. Grrr! It was an enormous bear. It smelled like the dumpster on a hot day and rumbled louder than the vacuum cleaner. Grrr! Suddenly, 
it was lights out. Everything went dark and I couldn't move. I was smushed like a muffin between the couch cushions. I was in the middle of a giant bear hug. It was warm like a bath mat in the sunshine. It smelled like that bath mat needed a bath. There was a low rumble from somewhere in the fur. Oh wait, that was me. Turns out big bears like sprinkles too. Light began to nibble at the edges of the window. It was time for naps. Even my shadow was sleepy. I made sure the bears got on their way safely. sun rose and stretched like a yarn down the alley. The bears rumbled back to the forest. The night shift had ended. My job here was done. So that's it. Another case closed by Muffin. No bears in Little Bear Bakery. Not anymore. I took care of them. It was a messy job, but I had handled it. Now it's time for a nap. By the way, we're out of donuts. And finally, let's look at those beautiful bakery shelves. Empty now. All that's left are just a few crumbs. And a mouse that says, I love sprinkles. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.